A dramatic come from behind overtime win for North Dakota Saturday night to complete a two game sweep of Miami inside the NCHC. This is your Midco SN post game wrap with Jake Brandt, I'm Dan Hammer. North Dakota trailed Miami late in regulation, tied the game late, sent it to overtime, and then got the game winner from Luke Johnson. Jake, let's take a look at our highlights here. North Dakota grabbed the early lead just 51 seconds into the game. Brock Besser with his seventh goal of the season. Great faceoff win, and Pullman just gets this to the net, and uh, Besser's able to get a deflection on that, and uh, really nothing McKay could do there, and uh, a quick strike for North Dakota. Brock Besser, Nick Schmaltz, Drake Kajula, so good all weekend long. one nothing after one in the second period. Miami ties it on the power play. Louis Belpedio with his second of the year. Yeah, they got net front presence here and just a shot where uh, Herink, you can't uh, fight off that screen and then they even it up at one. Here's Jack Roslevic, outstanding freshman, put a shot on it. Sean Corrali, you knew it was gonna happen sooner or later. Corrali's first goal of the season, Miami's up 2-1. Yeah, what a move there and Corrali just goes right to the paint, is able to pick up that rebound and then give uh, Miami a 2-1 uh, so lead. North Dakota had to overcome a deficit, which it did with Rhett Gardner at 5-06 in the third period to get the name not game rather knotted back at two. Yeah, Kajula strong on his stick there, just oh. makes a great play. Finds Gardner going to the net, and uh, he's able to just bury that one. Yeah, Drake Kajula with a wonderful play, reaching out, extending the pass beyond defenseman Taylor Richard, who had laid out on the ice, and it's 2-2, but Miami regains the lead at 14-21. Josh Melnick in front beats Matt Harinkiu. Yeah, Melnick, I think, is going to actually bat this one out of the air and gives a uh, a big goal for Miami as uh, they were able to take a 3-2 lead there. North Dakota pulls Matt Harinkiu for the extra attacker and it pays off with 94 seconds remaining in regulation. Schmaltz on the backhand and we're tied at three. Well, and the big play there is look at Luke Johnson with the behind the back pass and Schmaltz is able to uh, make things interesting and tie this game up. We go to the overtime session and then Luke Johnson, seemingly innocent angle here but it beats Ryan McKay for the game winner. Yeah, Luke Johnson, he's always shot first mentality. Catches McKay sleeping there. You're gonna see it's gonna bank off his pad. North Dakota is able to get the sweep. The stick salute at center ice. Tradition here at North Dakota, anytime UND sweeps an opponent inside Ralph Engelstead Arena. The final stats brought to you by Farmers Union Insurance. North Dakota with 36 shots on goal, pretty much on its season average of 37. They limit Miami to 14 shots on goal. North Dakota still trying to work its way through the power play. It was 0 for 3 on Saturday nights. Yeah, and they had a 5 on 3 look there again. I think a lot of what they're going to work on uh, starts with that face off. They weren't able to win a couple key draws, weren't able to set it up like they like. Again, that's something if they're going to have success against St. Cloud, they're going to need to pick that up. North Dakota 4 and 0 in the NCHC. St. Cloud State also 4 and 0 in the league. It should be a heck of a series next weekend in St. Cloud. He's Jake, I'm Dan. That's your Midco SN post game wrap.